Hey guys, this is Drew Douglas, and we are back for WordPress for Designers Day 8. And today is going to be all about the comments.php file and our uh, comments template, and uh, just exactly how to display our, our comments on our, uh, on our individual articles and on our WordPress blog that we have going. Um, I know a lot of you have asked about how to do the comments and how to do a lot of different things with them. So today I'm going to do my best to just cover the, um, the basics of getting our comments to display and then getting our form to display and going over some miscellaneous comment tags and features that we can use. And then in day nine, we will go over some more advanced features of the uh, comments.php section, um, something like um, threading in our comments, uh, how to reply and thread our WordPress comments. We'll cover that in day nine. So we're going to kind of break this uh, comments up over two series since it's, uh, it's the most intense not intense, but it's kind of the most advanced thing that we've dealt with so far. Um, I don't know how intense a comments file can be, so <laughs> let's move on with that said. Um, before I uh, got to doing this, I, I, I really um, was considering whether to just uh, kind of copy and paste from a default file and then walk you guys through it, um, or if I should just start from scratch or from the codex or or how I should do it and I, I came to the conclusion that well we've been doing everything from scratch so we might as well do that and I found a really excellent article on uh, NetTouch which is one of the, uh, Envato's sister sites and it's uh, it's by Gils Mize I want to say I'm sorry I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that and but he, but he wrote an excellent article and uh, it talks a lot about the comments.php file and I'm going to link to that below because we're going to use some of uh, the code in his article to get us started and, uh, and then code from, from other areas, but I'll be sure to give you guys a bunch of links. And um, let's go ahead and open up our code editor. And we'll close out anything that we have open right now. And like I said, today we're going to go through pretty much three steps. Um, the first thing is going to be to just get our comment loop uh, started so we can just display comments. So we'll just learn how to display any comments that have already been approved. Uh, the second part will be displaying the form. And the third part will be adding uh, some miscellaneous features and a few security checks um, that we need for a basic comments page. And uh, that's really it. So let's go ahead and get started. And we will create a new file and we will call it comments.php. Pretty simple. We'll open up comments.php. The first thing we need to do is run a conditional statement and uh, say if there are any comments uh, to display then do this. So let's go ahead and do PHP if with the variable comments which is a variable we can use colon we'll start an ordered list so we can number our comments as they're displayed and then we'll start a PHP for each loop. So we'll say for each comments as comment and that's singular on the second one okay so for each comments as comment do something so now we're going to open up our list tag we'll close our list tag and inside our list tag we want to be able to give it a unique ID um, for each comment and this will help us um, do things like uh, you know styling alternative comments and it's just it's just useful to, to give uh, each list um, element a different ID and we can do that easily by just saying ID equals comment you know and we'll say PHP comment ID like that and just like so and we don't need to close that off actually quite yet okay so inside our list tag we'll do another conditional check here and now what we need to do is check to see if the user has already posted their comment and display them that little message that you see sometimes when you comment on a blog that says uh, your comment is currently undergoing moderation or uh, we'll, we will approve your comment shortly something to let them know that their comment has already been posted but it's awaiting moderation so we'll use another if statement for that and we'll say if comment comment underscore approved is equal to zero 
do something. And what is it? What that is saying is if the comment is not approved. That's another way of saying um, that if statement. So if the comment is not approved, let's just give them a short message. Uh, something like your comment is under going uh, moderation and we'll end that uh, if statement okay now we're still inside our for each loop and now we need to actually display the comment text and this is a lot like being inside of the wordpress loop when you're dealing with posts and pages and that sort of thing um, and instead of using the content we're going to use PHP comment underscore text it's a pretty logical thing to name it and that will display the actual comment um, text inside of our uh, list tags now underneath the actual comment it would be nice to have just some very basic author information um, you almost always see the name of the commenter and a uh, link to their website if one was provided and um, just for now we'll, we'll do the date as well you know we could do the time and and, uh, and their latest links and all kinds of crazy advanced stuff but we'll, we'll just stick with their name uh, a link in the date so after our comment text do some more paragraph tags and we'll say PHP comment author link which will display the name of the author and any link uh, on and then we'll just say the date so PHP comment date go ahead and save what we've got so far and continue on after our paragraph tag we can go ahead and close out our list and now we can end our loop which, are, which is our for each loop so we'll say end for each and don't forget to close your ordered list now after that we need to uh, display something if no comments have been made yet since uh, we've done our check for if there are comments to display now we need to run our check to display something in the case that comments uh, there haven't been any comments posted yet PHP else whoops and then just a simple message uh, well, whatever you like uh, be the first to comment Give a little encouragement there and we'll end if and I missed a question mark okay so let's walk through all of this um, before we move on checking for any comments to see if we have comments starting our or ordered list starting our for each loop which is a lot like a WordPress it is a WordPress loop but it's a lot like the WordPress loop that we've been dealing with um, check to see if the comment is not approved yet which means they've commented but it's still waiting to be approved and we'll display a message and then we'll display the comments the author's link and name and the date um, that he or she commented on and we will end our loop um, if there are no comments then we will say be the first to comment so so far this is our our basic uh, hopefully working uh, comments.php file and uh, what we need to do is open up single which you will remember is uh, what the template um, page that displays and organizes our individual articles so under our promotion class that we added a few uh, series ago under the div class of promote we'll just do PHP comments template which uh, will grab and display our comments let's go over to Firefox and just refresh and then I'll click on an individual article here um, and we'll scroll down and perfect we have you know four comments you can see the, the name of, of who posted them obviously these two were by me when I was logged in um, Dizzle I'm not sure who that is and random dude left a link um, so it worked it worked like and it, it, it has done what we have wanted it to do and we, now, so now we've displayed our our basic um, our basic comments um, so the next step would be our forms and um, of course you could go on and hopefully you would style that and 
and uh, make it look a lot prettier than that. But uh, you know, you can give your or, you know ordered list an ID of comment section because I think I made a CSS rule to at least give us a border on those. Yeah, okay. You know, add some CSS to separate it for you a little bit. Okay, let's move on. Now that we have that, our next step would be displaying our form. So this is going to be uh, the most lengthy part, but it's nothing too difficult. We'll just take it one step at a time. And again, we'll run a check and we'll say PHP if. And we'll say if comments are open, colon. Okay, now what we need to do is check if uh, the user needs to be logged in to post a comment. And uh, th this is, uh, most people don't, well, like, no, no, okay. some people lock down their blogs to uh, registration only, which is the reason for this. So it's nice to give that option, especially in theme development, it's pretty much essential. So we'll say PHP if and I will go over this all again once once we finish. If get option, and then inside of the get option arguments, we'll pass comment registration, and there's no user ID, and we want to do something. And we'll just, you know, we'll display a message. We'll say, just for now, we'll say you must be logged into a uh, comment on this article. And we're going to come back to this uh, in day nine, and we're going to learn how to redirect them back into a login link um, the correct way. But for now, I just want to get the basics of, of, of the form um, figured out for all of us. So we'll come back to this. But for now, we'll just display you must be logged into comment. Okay, moving on, and I will say PHP else. And now we will uh, start our form markup. Whoops. And we'll do that uh, with some basic HTML mixed with some PHP in our action. So say form action equals PHP. I'm having trouble typing today. PHP echo get option and inside of get option we'll pass site URL which you'll, you'll remember this is a WordPress template tag we can use to get the URL of our site it will say get option site URL and we'll say slash WP comments dash post dot PHP We'll close off that. And we'll continue on with our form here and we'll say method of post. And just go ahead and give it an ID of of comment form. One word. And you can end your form. And so now we're gonna go ahead and get into our form and uh, run a few more conditional uh, checks here. So now what we have is um, if the user has to be logged in, we're going to display the message or else we're going to start to display the top of our form uh, no matter what. And now what we need to do is check if, uh, if the user is logged in. So for instance, if I'm logged in as an administrator, I would not need to fill out the, the name, the email, and the website as uh, WordPress obviously already has all of that information. So how do we do that? Well, we say PHP if user ID so if the user ID is, is true we'll uh, start some paragraph tags and then we'll say logged in as um, and we'll go we'll go ahead and display um, the the profile uh, name um, and link to whoever's logged in. So we'll open up an anchor tag and we'll say logged in as 
href. We want to do some PHP tags. And then we want to say echo get option. Site URL. Whoops. Site URL. Slash WP admin. Slash profile. Dot PHP. Okay, we'll close our quote. And then for the actual text, we'll do PHP and we'll, uh, we'll echo out our user identity. Hopefully I spell yeah I spelled that right. Okay. And we'll close our anchor tag. And we will uh, we will leave it at that for now. We could we could go for one step farther and display a log out link and and more, but uh, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can for while we're mocking up this form. So now that we have that conditional check run, we need to put in another else statement. The colon. So now we'll say else, and now we need to start making the input fields. Which uh, once you just get used to like the IDs and and how they're set up, it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to use some basic PHP inside some of the uh, elements, but um, it's going to be just a basic form markup from here. So we'll go ahead and do, you know, a paragraph um, and well, input type equals text. And then we'll say name is equal to author, ID equal to author. And value is where we're going to add some PHP inside of here. We're going to say for the value, we're going to echo out the comment author like so. Oops. Okay, moving on. The next thing we need to add to our input field is we could add a size or a tab index, but yeah, we don't need to do that for now. Close off our input field. And then we'll say label for. Lost my train of thought here. Sorry. Label for author. And then inside of that, we want to say uh, you know name, whatever you want to display, but name would make the most sense. And we'll go ahead and close off the label. And close our paragraph tag. So there is our first input type. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and move on to our email, which will be uh, one more extra step because we need to check if the email is required. We can do the same thing for the name um, after I demonstrate how to do this. Again, input type equals text. Name, oops, name equals email. ID equals email. And again for the value, we'll do the same kind of thing we did. PHP uh, echo comment author email. Just like so. And we'll go ahead and close off our input type there. And after that we'll add our label again label for email okay now here's where we need to check if our uh, our mail is required and uh, and echo that out to the user so they know that their email address is required to post a comment so we'll say mail PHP if we'll use a variable REQ required. We'll just inside this statement we will just say echo. Um, you know whatever you want to whatever you want to say. Um, required field works just fine. 
and then we will just uh, close off our label. Again, I can just not type tonight. Okay, so now we have our name and our mail, and the last thing that we need to add, uh, or actually two more things we need to add, is the website input and then the actual text area. So once again, we'll start some paragraph tags, an input type of text, and we'll do for the name we'll just do URL ID URL value do the exact same thing we've been doing just to be user friendly here equals echo comment author URL just like that and once again we'll close our uh, input type off start our label for URL and we'll say website and obviously this will not be required so we can just close off our label okay and we're almost there lastly we just need to do our text area and our submit button so we'll say P I always like to start and end my tags when I'm working like this. Start some paragraph tags and we'll say text area name equals comment ID equals comment columns, uh, I'll just say 50 rows 10 works for now and we'll close off our text area and we'll close and our paragraph tags are already closed off and the last thing is our um, input submit button input type equals submit name equals submit ID equals submit and value guess what it equals submit Okay, so there's our basic form mockup, except there's uh, one more thing that we need to add, um, which is an, a hidden field, an input type, which is uh, a hidden field. And this will pass, allow us to pass WordPress um, another value without the user having to enter anything or without us having to really worry about it. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with um, you know, hidden input fields, just like anything else. So we'll just do input type equals hidden name equals comment post ID the value is equal to we'll go ahead and use double quotes for here so we can do PHP inside we'll say echo ID okay we'll close that and we'll go ahead and wrap it in paragraph tags. Just whatever. actually, we don't we don't need to do that. We're not worried about that anyway. Okay. Now we need to add PHP, and we need to actually perform the posting of the comments. So that is just do action and pass it uh, two parameters here. Let's say comment form separated by a comma. And then post ID, which is going to be what actually uh, runs our our uh, post method and, and and posts the comment. And we will go ahead and end our form now. Yippee! We're almost done, and we can end our if statement. Okay. And lastly, we can give it a PHP else statement just in case the comments happen to be closed, which is an option in WordPress if you um, if you didn't know. Comments currently closed. Tough break. And end the last if. Okay. 
hopefully you got all of that uh, typed correctly and that should display our form for us so now we'll go back and we will refresh and I obviously messed uh, something up here let me go back and look this over real quick okay what did I miss okay I missed a uh, an end statement right here PHP end if right before the text area thank goodness I have my notes next to me let's see if that helps hopefully I didn't miss anything else but that's the longest code we've written from scratch before so it's bound to happen and yes awesome okay our comment form is showing up I'm obviously logged in so as we discussed uh, I don't need to fill in uh, most of the input fields except for the actual text area but let's go ahead let's go ahead and log out let's go back to our main page and we'll click on our comments again okay so now we can see you know that we can type in any field we want we can submit our comments our link and uh, everything's working you know so we'll type in uh, theme forest we'll just leave all the other info there and you know did this work we'll submit it I'll allow the connection okay and there we go and we can see it we see it is indeed showing up go back here and you know go to a new page just to double check we can also see it shows up on this page just like it should be so now we have our basic comment and our comment form um, showing up which is nice so um, bear with me here and we will go over uh, two little quick security checks we need to add to the top of our comments.php file and uh, we'll display some gravitars uh, quickly and then we'll call it a day so let's go back to our comments.php and at the top um, what we need to do now is make sure that no one loads this page directly and uh, if you just remember these few lines of code you don't need you know to memorize them but um, that's what we're doing is we're checking to make sure that no one is loading the page uh, directly so we'll say if not empty server in quotations script file name and comments dot php is equal to base name base name of server and script file name again okay go ahead and give it a colon there so we can execute something in case uh, someone's trying to directly load the page and we'll say php die which ends our script if you weren't aware um, that's what php die function does and we will say you know please do not load this page directly thanks go ahead and end our if statement and the next check we'll do is uh, is a password protection um, check we're gonna check to um, see if the post pretty much is password protected um, by getting the post password and um, and we're going to check the cookie hash on it and if that kind of confuses you just follow along don't worry too much about what that means but um, just we'll, we'll do uh, we'll do this we'll say if empty if is not empty excuse me post then post password Okay, then we'll do something here. We'll run another check and we'll say PHP if and we'll say if cookie WP post pass underscore period cookie hash does not equal 
the post password. So if the password they've posted is not equal to the post password, we want to display something. So we want to do another colon and we will say password protected post please enter valid password to view comments and we'll end both of our if statements here okay and we'll save that and we'll make sure everything is still working okay we'll refresh the page and yes everything's working fine now we have a few more security checks to keep in place like I said if you're new to PHP or you don't understand exactly what all this does you can always just you know keep it in a file and use it whenever you need to style a comments.php page okay so we've pretty much got everything um, worked out for the day I wanted to do one more thing which was display the avatar because that's kind of the thing to do nowadays I guess so after our if statement under your comment is awaiting moderation and before our comment text we're just gonna say PHP and we'll just say echo get avatar we'll pass it a few parameters here and uh, I'm also going to have a link for you at the bottom and so you can learn all about the get avatar uh, template tag. We'll pass it the ID of comment and a size of you know, 80. Oops. And that's all we have to do. We'll save that. We will you know, come back here and reload. And there you can see we have some avatars showing up. You know, obviously most of these are mine, but WordPress default avatar, which we'll talk about uh, making your own later in the series. And um, yeah, so there you go. Hopefully you've uh, learned a little bit about the p setting up the comments.php uh, file, and you can actually get your comments and and your form displaying now and saved into your database uh, successfully uh, with some security on your comments.php file as well. So, uh, like I said, we went over just the basics of the comments today. We're going to, day nine, we're going to go uh, farther into this and work on threading our comments and uh, just adding some more stuff. And then we are going to move on to our PSD, which I know um, a lot of you are excited about. So, um, I will have a bunch of links and, of course, the source files below for all of you to download. Um, I recommend that if you're enjoying this, as always, you go to... Um, subscribe to Theme Forest if you're not already a subscriber that would really help us out and uh, happy WordPress coding and have a great day